What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be sharing a little bit of a tactic uh, that myself and our clients have used to close uh, people who are on the fence who maybe are just right there, but you're struggling to get them over the line. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to do that, a little bit of a tactic that you can use, so then you can use this within your video business to close more deals and make more money. Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Eric Deeren. I run Master Filmmaker. We run a coaching program for video business owners, videographers, and creative agencies, helping them scale to multiple six or multiple seven figures. Um, so if you wanna learn more about that, there should be a link below in this description. But besides that, let's go ahead and dive in. So let's talk about what typically happens. So typically what happens is you're booking calls, they get on Zoom with you, right? And then one of two things happen here. Either they close and they pay you money or they don't close and you have to do follow-up. Now the problem with the follow-up is that a lot of times they haven't put any sort of commitment down, so it's a little bit difficult to get them over the line because they haven't put anything down, right? They haven't put any sort of payment down. It's a little bit difficult to get them in follow-up, and you're basically chasing leads that have not paid you anything, which is the big problem. And so we ran into this, and so what we did is we essentially said, what if there was like a middle option here, right? What if we could do something in the middle where people put down some sort of small deposit, right? And I know what you're thinking, oh, is this just another deposit video? It's not. There's some tricks and things that we do within the deposit that actually make it lethal. So we said, what if they just put down some sort of deposit, right? What would that do? Now, we did this with some of our clients, and what we saw is typically they'd go through this process, right? They'd get on Zoom. Some people would close, and then some people they would have to do follow-up. But we noticed that, you know, typically they were closing 25% right here, which is not bad, right? But we said, well, what if there was a way for us to implement this? And so what we did is we implemented that deposit. And we call it the deposit close. And there's some nuances to that, which I'm going to get into in a second. But we implemented the deposit close. And we basically took them from a 25%, you know, 25% of people closed right away. And then what we saw is another 40% of people ended up doing the deposit close. And then from that here, from those people, percentage of them closed. And that was about 80% right here. So essentially what we did is we added more deals to the top line by simply doing this simple deposit close. And then obviously they would still have people that they would follow up with uh, and then they would close those people eventually down the line. But what we noticed is that because of this, there was a huge lift in the conversion rate in the close percentage because uh, we were able to implement more of a deposit close. So let me walk you through how this actually works. So typically step number one, what happens is you know, you get to the end of your pitch, you pitch your prices, you pitch what it is. Then number two, what typically happens is a client gives you some sort of objection. So they say, mm, I don't know, it's just not the right time for me right now. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, there's a lot going on, blah, 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 whatever, right? Um, and then typically what happens from here is people will either do one of these two things. They'll either be able to overcome the objection and close the sale, or they won't be able to overcome it and then they'll schedule some sort of follow-up. But what we did is we do pitch objection, and then depending on what the actual objection is, we frame it as, hey, maybe this isn't the best thing for you to do right this second. Why don't I give you more information so we can actually help you get to where you wanna go? And so we frame it as a deposit close, where we say, hey, why don't I build out a custom roadmap for you to show you how what we're gonna do is actually gonna get you outcome that you said you wanted. And so we build out that custom roadmap. So first I say, hey, no worries, John. I understand that you're, you know, you're struggling with the, you know, the total number and you feel like it's a lot and blah, blah, blah. Would it help you? And this is what I do first. So number one, I check for agreement right here. So say, so I say, would it help you if I put together a custom roadmap that showed you step-by-step step what we're gonna do and how we're gonna create content that helps take your business to XYZ level that you said you wanted? you wanted to get to. And then typically they'll say, almost every single time they'll say, yes, absolutely, that would be so helpful, that's exactly what I need. And then you say, okay, great, awesome, perfect. So you know, for that, because it's gonna take us a couple of hours, it's gonna take us a little bit of time to build that out, we just ask for a $500 deposit or a $1,000 deposit, right? And then they'll typically say, uh, you'll have some sort of, you might have some sort of objection there, but if you absolutely need to, you can make it a refundable. But we found that if you just say, hey, it's a 500 to a thousand dollar deposit for us to build this out. And then if you decide you don't wanna use it, you could take the roadmap, that's completely fine. You can keep that and you don't have to move forward with us but it's a good way for you to understand how we're gonna take steps and we're gonna develop a content strategy to get you to where you wanna be, right? And so typically with this roadmap, we don't actually build it completely custom. We have some sort of like template that we use. 
And so we have a template and then we just plug the client's information into the template and then we take a couple of hours, right? So let's say it takes three hours for us to plug everything in or it takes a couple of hours, you know, then what we do is we then schedule that next call. So they say, okay, great, I'll do the deposit. You take the deposit and then you frame it as like, hey, you're not committing to doing this. You're just committing to seeing what the game plan looks like. And so then from there, we schedule that next call. We say, okay, well, you know, I could probably have this done by tomorrow or the day after. Why don't I put this together for you? And then we can go from there. How does that work? And then they'll typically say, that's great. Awesome. I love it. I'm perfect. And then you schedule that call, you take the deposit uh, and then you hop on that next call and go over the actual roadmap, right? And then this roadmap should further sell the steps in the process. And so the roadmap, this is where a lot of people make a mistake, is you need to basically identify what these main pillars are within your actual, like with, within your actual delivery system. So there's activation points that clients have when they work with you, right? Activation points. And so activation point number one might be that you script their content. Activation point number two might be that you create the content, you film it. Number three is that you edit it. Number four is that you actually send it to them and you post it for them or you create it for them or whatever it may be, right? But by having a custom roadmap here, what it allows us to do is get some form of commitment on the call, right? And so we're able to get a form of commitment on the actual sales call instead of hoping and praying that they end up following up with us and end up moving forward with us. And it also positions you as an expert because I promise you none of your competitors are doing this and it makes a huge difference in getting these people over the line. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. If you have any questions about how this actually works, um, if you want to learn more about what we actually do, you, there should be a link down below to schedule a call with my team or talk to somebody from my team and we're happy to help. But if you want to learn more, schedule a call, happy to help. Uh, if not, enjoy the free content on YouTube uh, and hopefully you guys use this to close some deals. And if you do, comment below this video and let me know. I'd love to know.